Bore, Shalom, Shalom. It's Brother Yatazadak, Hero of Israel. I'd like to start off by giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Today we're going to Zechariah chapter 10, going into the Hebrew. So, Lord willing, you're edified, giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Let's get right into it. Right, so the uh, header for this um, chapter is God will bless Judah and Ephraim, right? Judah, right, like I have said in previous videos, Judah is sometimes referenced as Yaquab, Jacob, which is referencing the uh, southern kingdom, and Ephraim sometimes is referenced as uh, the house of Joseph, right? Um, so it says, God will bless Judah and Ephraim. Let's start off at uh, verse 1, Zechariah 10 and 1. Inquire of the Lord of the rain and the time of the gathering, in which the Lord will uh, perform. Um, uh, uh, thunders, lightning, uh, lightning storms, and the rain of showers he will place onto them, onto man, uh, for grass in the field. So it says, Sha'alwa, my Yahweh, Matar, Ba'itha. Malakwash, Yahweh Aisha, Hazia, Hazia Zayim, Wa Matar Gasham Yatham, Laham La Ayash Aishab Bashada. Right? So, what is what is it referencing? Right? It's referencing uh, the time of the gathering, and you have the time of the. Uh, um, for rainstorms, right? April showers bring May flowers, right? So you have the time of the latter rain, you have the time of the uh, um, um, the abundance of rain, right? Which is now, right? Which is referencing this word, right? Which which is uh, being received by the remnant, right? But then you're gonna have the time, like uh, like it says in the in the law, you have the time of the uh, first fruits and then you have the time of the end gathering which is at the end of the year right um so that time of the gathering spiritually is talking about the remnant right which will be delivered out of uh america babylon great right uh let's go to an article which reference the former and the latter reigns right so it says, this is uh, from josephprince.org. <clears throat> the former and latter reigns. In Israel, rain is always a blessing much needed for the successful growing and harvesting of crops. There are generally two rainy seasons mentioned in scripture. The early or former autumn, which is in the fall, uh, rain, October to November, and the latter spring rain, March to April. Right, um, which uh, the time of the spring is uh, where you would uh, uh, sow your seed, or before that, right? Uh, right after the uh, uh, basically um, uh, during autumn. Right, which is the uh, the early when the when the rain starts uh, pouring. The latter rain is uh, March to April, which is uh, towards the end of the year. The Hebraic year, when you would have uh, the gathering of the remainder of the crops, which have been uh, um, flourishing. Right, which is uh. uh um, starting with the month Abib, 
before that, right? So it says, with the former rain, farmers began plowing and planting seeds, right? So that is the time of sowing, which will, which is what we're doing now, right? We're sowing the word, the latter rain, which is at the end of this thing, right? Um, you have, right, like scriptures say in the book of Daniel, with the knowledge being increased, right? The understanding being given out throughout the various offices, right, through the spirit, starting uh, with our elders and apostles of Great Millstone, says, which is even more important, matures the crops for harvesting, right? So that's what we're doing. We're going through a, uh, uh, a maturing, a, uh, what do you call it, a coming of age for the remnant, right? So it says, actually, that's it for that. The rest is just... Christianity mumbo jumbo. <clears throat> but that's what is referencing in uh, verse 1. The word malakwash means uh, of gathering. Ma meaning of. Lakwash or lakwach. Lakwa means to take. Or lakwach. Right, which is referencing the time of the end gathering, which is towards the end of the year. Aisha Chaz Yaz Yazayim, meaning the Lord will perform uh, um, storms and tempest, right? Which is uh, synonymous with what the tri uh, tribulation that the remnant would go through, <coughs> and um, the latter rain, Matar Gasham, Gasham meaning showers, right? In order to produce what? Herb, a grass, Salakia, uh, for man in the field, right? Which that grass is talking about, right? The increase, right, of those that received the words of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, right? The Holy Spirit, Rakak Wadash, and ultimately enduring this thing, and, uh, um, fulfill their lots, right? Zechariah 10 and 2. Because the therapim, the terapium, or terapim, has spoken, um, um, has spoken, uh, vanity, and the diviners have envisioned falsehood, and the dreamers, um, have deceived by speaking um um uh vain things uh to comfort by speaking vainly they comfort right so it says kaya hatharapium the barwa awan waha kwasamium hazwa shakwar wahalamath Hashawa'a, Yadabarwa, Chabal, Yanachamwan. Upon so, uh, they uh, they travel like a like like unto a flock that is afflicted. Meaning they go about like a flock that is afflicted, because there is no shepherd. So it says Alkan Nasaiwa, Kamwa Tazaan. Ya Ainawa Kaya Ayan Raya It's talking about our people. Right? Because you got Jake in uh, Egyptology, right? The Therapium, right, which really goes back to uh consulting with uh oracles, right, uh spirits. Right, uh uh the Wasamium, those are uh diviners or augurs. What a diviner does Right, you have on one spectrum, you have those that uh, observe omens, right, which is Nakash or Nakashium. Then you have those that, that uh, predict events through omens, which are called um, augurs or diviners, wasamium. So you have particular scriptures that speak about 
uh, certain prophets uh, divining, meaning uh, they they attempted to predict uh, events, particular events, by observing omens, right? <coughs> and it says, and dreamers, right? Because you had that, you have that amongst our people today as well, right? Uh, MLK. Right? I had a dream, right? Which that goes into something else, but right that's just an example right uh to comfort in vain right which is why it says Chabal uh Yanacham one because it means uh Chabal means uh vapor of vanity uh they comfort right so that is the state of our people they are like a flock they are like unto a flock that goes about and they are afflicted, and they have no, uh, they have no shepherd, right? The shepherd is there. The words are there. The Halbashim Shai has declared his word, but they don't believe it, right? Because they're stumbling on that uh, uh, stumbling stone, which is Yahweh Shai. Like it says in the Book of Luke, that uh, he is for the rise and the fall of many, and that that uh, that a precept still stands today. Right, so Zechariah 10 and 3, it reads, Upon the shepherds is the uh, fury of my anger, and upon the uh, goats I will visit. Because that word ithodium means uh, something that is prepared. Right, so you have those that are prepared for right uh, for life and you have those that are prepared unto destruction right which you have the the sheeps and then you have the goats the goats represents esau rep represents the uh the, the the nations but it also represents the two-thirds the sheep are the remnant right the uh those to whom the lord has ordained since the foundation of the world <coughs> so the lord has uh beef with the shepherds right the fury of of um he says the fury of my anger or the heat of my anger which is what hurrah means hurrah means heat right so it says all ha rayim hurrah apia wa al ha ithadium Meaning, and upon the goats, I will visit <coughs> Apaquad because uh, the Lord of hosts sh uh, shall visit unto his flock. Kaya Apaquad Yahweh Tazabawath Atha Idarwa, which is a uh, Idar means drove, it's another way to say flock. Uh, to the house of Judah, Athabayat Yahawada, Salaki. And will place unto them like a horse which is uh, glorified in battle. Washam Atham Kasawas Hawadwa Bama Lachama. Because what? The book of Jeremiah says that. Uh, the Lord will send for many fishes and then he's going to send for many hunters. Right? The fishers are those that are preaching his word. And the hunters, right, is, is really talking about uh, those that are going to be caught up in Jacob's trouble. Right? For bad and not for good. Right? And really, right, in a sense, the hunters are the remnant that are going to be delivered given they're going to be given spiritual power and they're going to uh be with Yahweh Shai and the Alahayim to battle the armies of, of the earth right when they're set back in uh the holy land right so that's a twofold in a sense um and um Book of Zechariah also says that uh, 
those that are the least will be as uh David and the the house of Judah will be as the uh as the as the um the angels right which you're gonna have those that return with the Awashai and the chariots you're gonna be in the glorified bodies right because they're gonna they're gonna uh have the first place in the resurrection like scriptures say right so they're gonna perish on this side but they're gonna come back in the chariots and then you're gonna have the remnant which make make it through Jacob's trouble and uh, they're gonna be they're gonna be caught up in the chariots you're gonna see that they're gonna be changed the bodies are gonna be changed right like I said in the previous video that scriptures say that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven right that's twofold because you're gonna have the remnant that are gonna perish and uh, have the first place in the resurrection but you're gonna have those that will make it to the time of the deliverance they're gonna be changed in the blink of an eye right um, there's a precept I was going to uh, bring out in camp <clears throat> because this kind of references that that type of uh, scenario, right? Which is in the book of Saint John, uh, chapter five, I believe. St. John chapter 5 verse 24 and Verily, verily, I say unto you He that heareth my word And believeth on him that sent me Hath everlasting life And shall not come into condemnation Right? So whether Right? You're, you're of the elect And you were supposed to make it through Jacob's trouble Or you were of the elect And you were supposed to die for this truth Either way Right, you you already you already won that that battle, right? You believed, you heard the word. You're not gonna be condemned because, right? You're either gonna make it through Jacob's trouble, or you're going to, uh, right, die for this truth, and uh, you're gonna you're gonna, right, receive that reward. And John, Saint John, five and twenty-five. Verily I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. Let's talk about the remnant. For as the Father had life in himself, so has he given to the Son to have life in himself. And to give him authority to ex execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. Right, so our authority is of, right, Yahweh Shai, the things that he spoke, which is in the volume of the book. Right, we have that authority as as a uh, um, under Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> Saint John five and twenty eight. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming, which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice, and shall come forth. They that have done good unto the res resurrection of life. And they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. Right? Uh, so you're going to have those. Right? That are that are uh, going to literally uh, be in the graves. Right? That, that are going to uh, be. be uh, the Lord is going to uh, reanimate the bodies. And um, of those that perish in his truth, and he's going to uh, put that right, um, basically change that body, and uh, uh, those that, those that are already in the spirit world, right? He's going to put that spirit right in that body, and it's going to be changed just to glorify the Lord, although it's already going to be. And uh, with the chari with the chariots returning, it's just like to glorify the Lord's work. So you're gonna have those returning with Yahushai that perish in his truth, 
having the first part in the resurrection, but they're going to be changed, right, with the with the remnant that uh, make it to Jacob's trouble. So it says, and shall come forth they that have done good unto the resurrection of life, right, which is uh, uh, the, the the remnant, and they that have done evil unto the uh, resurrection of damnation, right. So the resurrection of life is received in his word, but it's also those that are going to uh, uh, be come out of the graves, right? You can have those that are uh, done evil to the resurrection of damnation. Why? Because, right, they're, they're going to hear the word and they're going to hear their judgment and they're going to be judged. Right at the end of the day, they're not going to make it. So the Lord is going to glorify His people, starting with the uh, with Judah. In Zechariah ten and four. From them is the, the uh, cornerstone. The corner from then is the uh, uh, the uh, the pin from then is the uh, bow of the battle from them has come out all that oppressed together so the Lord is kind of uh, talking about Judah right which is the head tribe right that corner is Yahweh Shai which is a cornerstone. The pins is talking about these, uh, these, uh, um, these, uh, lesser Jakes, right? Judites that, uh, that are still going off, right? Um, you have the bow of the battle, right? You got certain Jakes that are. Right, they're good at sports. Right, they're they're up there in um in tal as far as talent, but they're using it for the wrong uh, reason. Right, instead they're out there causing havoc. Right, and it says, from then has come out all that are pressed together. It's talking about J uh, Judah as a whole. As a whole, right? The majority are wicked, right? They're scammers. They're they're right. They're just right. And Jake is just is just uh, off, right? And as a head tribe, he, he should right. He should, but he doesn't know better. Right, because that's just the condition that he's been placed in by Esau Edom and right um, the other nations Esau knows that he has to oppress the, 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 the heads of the tribes he has to be harsher on them <coughs> which causes division between uh, southern kingdom and northern kingdom so it says, Ma Manawa Pana, Ma Manawa Yathad, Ma Manawa Kwashath, Ma Lachama, Ma Manawa Yatazaa, Kal Nagash Yahadwa. Zechariah 10 and 5, and will be like warriors. that tread down in, in the mire of the streets right so, you, so uh, the Lord is talking about right the two thirds and the elect he's talking about of Jake of, uh, of Judah Salakia, which are which really is talking about Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon right because he got they, they're the head tribes the southern kingdom 
because they, right, they're, they're just, right, they, they're just, uh, the Lord just gave them more talent and two thirds use it for wickedness and the remnant use it, right, are going to use it to bring out this word, right? So it says, Wahayawa Kagabarium Bawasium Batayat Hawatazath. Um So it says and together like uh like like uh warriors that trample in the mire of the streets in battle ba malachama Right so you got Jake actually in the truth doing what is commanded and you got Jake that just doesn't give a damn right and it says and will fight because the Lord is with him right it's talking about right those that are striving in this word right but two thirds are going to fight too the Lord is going to be with them because the Lord is going to stir up uh, that uh the Lord is going to stir up uh, Jake as a whole to cause havoc. Judah shall be t a terror in the land of Egypt. Isaiah 19. So it says, Wana lachamwa kaya yahawa aima and will put to shame the riders of horses. Wahab bayeshwa. Rakabia Sawasium, right? That's actually talking about the uh, the remnant, which are going to fight in the Valley of Decision once it gets spiritual power and are delivered, right? They're going to put the cavalry to shame, so it's kind of you know jumping between. It's just the Lord is speaking on the might of uh, the Southern Kingdom to do evil and to do uh, um, good. Right. Either way you put it, Jake is, is still uh, uh, on a high level. Right. But they use your, their talents to uh, to forward. Right. Uh, Esau's way. But the remnant they're gonna uh, forward uh, Yahweh Hashem Shai. Right in the uh, the word. Zechariah ten and six. And I will cause to prevail uh, unto the house of Judah and unto Joseph. Unto the house of Joseph. And I will save. And there's and will be a restoration and there shall be a restoration because of um, because I will be merciful unto them. And it will come to pass, and it will be like which I have not, um, and, and it will be like which I have not uh, scattered them or disown, because I am the Lord their God, and I will answer them as in answer their prayers. So it says, Wa Gabarathia. Atha bayath yahawda, wa atha bayath yawasap, a shayai, waha shabathium, kaya rahamathium, waha yawa ka ashar la a zanathium. The word zanath means, it just means a scatter basically, in this case to disown. Kaya Anya Yahawa Allah Yaham Wa I Nam Meaning because I am the Lord their their God and I will answer them. Right, so the Lord is gonna uh put it put that uh the, the laws right um put that new give them new bodies that that uh that power right 
and Jake, Northern, uh, right, Southern Kingdom, and um, right, as well as the uh, Northern Kingdom. <coughs> Why? Because the Lord already promised that. Uh, going back to uh, Abraham, right? Zechariah ten and seven. And will be like a warrior, Ephraim, Ephraim, and will rejoice, and will be, and there will be rejoicing unto, um, unto his heart, like unto wine, and their their children will see and will rejoice with joyfulness unto their heart in the Lord. Wahayawah. Kagabar Aparium Washamach Labuma Kamwa Yayan Wabanyaham Ya Raawa Washamachwa Yagal Labma Bayahawa. Right, so Ephraim is going to be made, right. Uh, like unto a warrior right basically it's talking about the northern kingdom being given spiritual power right after the deliverance and um right as a whole and um basically when you drink wine you're you're you know, you're just energized, right? So the Lord is going to put that battery in the back of Jake, northern and southern kingdom. Right? Um, to make the Lord's work manifest. Right? Now you're going to have particular brothers that, um, that are going to uh, do particular, um, they're going to do certain uh, miracles and right but don't get too excited because right the lord gave the lot onto some right to perish so nobody really knows right the lord uh knows the exact time the lord he knows what he's doing basically right In zechariah 10 and 8 i will whistle unto them and i will gather them because I will redeem them and will multiply um, them exceedingly. Asharakwa Laham Wa'a Wabatazam Kaya Padiathayam Wa Rabwa Kamwa Rabwa. Sharak means uh, uh, to whistle. Right, basically, when you whistle, it just means, right, the Lord is going to uh, decide when that happens, right? It's not on, he's not on the heathen's time, he's not, he's not even on your Hawashai's time, because the Lord said that not even the angels know, right, when these, when uh, the end will be. The Lord is going to say, he's going to say, okay, now, right? So not even Yahweh Shai knows, right? The Lord is going to make that call, right? Kwabataza, meaning uh, to uh, gather, right? Because the Lord is going to redeem, right? He's going to say, okay, now, now it's time. He's going to say to Yahweh Shai, he's going to send him. Really, he's already on his way, right? Uh, scriptures say that vengeance is uh, in his heart, right? But the Lord is going to make that call, the Heavenly Father, the Lord of hosts, right? Zechariah, see how many more verses I got, 10 and 9. And I will sow them among the peoples, and afar off they shall remember me, and will survive and will survive their sons 
and will return. Wa Zarayum Ba Amayum Waba Marahakium Yazakar Naya Wahayawa Atha Banyaham Washawa Basically the Lord is saying I'm the one who sent Israel throughout these various captivities. I sowed them amongst the nations afar off. They will remember me. They will and will live their sons and they shall return. Meaning in, in its appointed time. Right? And they shall be and will be and there shall be a return from the land of Egypt and from Assyria. Egypt is today America, Babylon, Great Assyria is in the uh, east, eastern quarter. And I will gather them and to the land of Gilead and to Lebanon. I will bring them in and and there will not be and will not be found and it will not be sufficient unto them. Because the Lord is going to increase starting with the remnant and the two thirds that are born through the loins of the remnant. Right, the uh, the Lord said, "In my house are many mansions." It's talking about the universe. It's not just talking about the Israelites ruling planet Earth. The Lord is going to give the hundred percent of the uh, uh, of of His creation to Yahweh Shai, the house of David, the twelve apostles. Right, and then you have the uh, the uh, the great multitude. Right, King David. Right. So it says, Waha Shabbatium, Ma Rataza Matazorium, Wama Ashawar, Akubatazam, Waal Arataza Kalad, Wa Labanan, Abaya Am, Wala Ya Mataza Laham. Verse 11, and those that pass by in the sea will be, and the passerby in the sea, um, will be, uh, will be narrowed and will smite in the sea joyfully and will dry up all of the deep of the rivers and will bring down uh, the pride of Assyria uh, and the tribe of the and the scepter of the of Egypt shall be turned back. Right. So these uh, basically is talking about Jake being given that power. Right. Because what happens when uh, when you work out, right, you, your muscles get get tightened. The Lord is going to uh, tighten up Jake. Right? He's going to have that force in him. Right? And Jake is going to have, like, right? We're going to have control over the elements. Right? To be able to smite the waves of the sea. Which is why it says, Wahaka Bayam Galium. Because Gal, Galium, that means the waves of the sea. We're going to have the abilities to dry up, to uh, manipulate. Uh, the, the weather to dry up the deep the rivers to bring down the pride of uh right Assyria right which is uh these uh these other tribes these uh these uh Arabs these uh these Shem Semitic tribes that come from uh Shem and uh the 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 Hamitic tribes basically all nations just talking about one section of the earth to another right it's not talking about particular people it's just talking about the earth as a whole right these are uh, mixed multitudes right basically if you're not of the uh, uh, of the elect right which the elect is Israel as a whole the one-third and the two-thirds which uh, two thirds will be destroyed on this side, will come back in the kingdom of heaven. Right? 
because that word tazara tazar means uh, to be straightened the lord is going to put that force in jake right basically here's a little right <laughs> visual This is what the Lord is going to do. He's going to uh, make Jake as a uh, force to be reckoned with. Right? It's just a bad picture, but. Right, Jake is going to be. Right? Be able to smite the sea. Right? Control the waves. Right? To dry up the waters able to stir up the waters and, and even dry them up right and that's going to bring down the pride of these heathens right Esau right he's going to be put in chains right but that's going to happen in the kingdom of heaven right when the third world comes world war three a lot of people are going to are going to be destroyed so that's not going to happen at this current time. The destruction has to come. And there's going to be a remnant throughout these various nations. They're going to remain, which is going to be few. And then they're going to be taken, put into captivity. And they're going to uh, be breeded and, and multiplied into captivity throughout the earth. And after a thousand years, Esau, we're going to torch Esau. And then the uh, the nations will go back to their own lands. Right? Simple as that. Right? So it says, Wa Ibar, Bayam, Bayam, Tazara, Wahaka, Bayam, Galium. Waha Bayashwa call Ma Tazalath because that word Tazal means the deep. Be able to dry up the deep of the rivers, ya are. Which is a word for another word for river, which um or Nile, which is an Egyptian loan word, it just means river basically. Waharad meaning to bring down Ga'awan, ga meaning pride of Assyria, Ashawar, Washabat, Matazarium, Yesawar, the scepter of uh, Egypt will be turned back. Right, so you, you nations, right, you're just, right, you're not going to have a choice but, but to uh, uh, submit, right, uh, to the uh, Israelites right but it's not going to happen on this side see we're not we're not we're not forcing this thing to happen right we're waiting on the lord the lord is bringing the word and he's slowly but surely right you see these judgments coming out going out you uh you see these th these things happening in the in the skies you see right the things that the Lord that Yahweh Shai spoke of coming to pass. Right? So our job is to uh, 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 to wait on the Lord. Right? <clears throat> Zechariah 10 and 12. And I will cause to prevail. It's like your arm. Um, and I will and I will make and I will make them mighty in the Lord, and in his name they shall walk, saith the Lord. Bagaparathium by Yahweh, Waba Shamwa, Yatha Halakwa, Naam Yahweh. Right? So, right, this paints a uh, pretty good picture of what is going to happen. Right? So, that's basically it. Um, this is Zechariah chapter 10. Uh, going into the Hebrew, this brother Yotazadak, Hebrew Israel. And as always, Lord willing, you were edified, given honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kakwadash, double honors to yours and apostles of Great Millstone.
Kwame Asha'Allah about the ball, inshallah one.